Just go ahead, honorable member. Thank you again, uh, Mr. Chair. I'm very pleased to move an amendment actually on behalf of the honorable member for Calgary Southeast, and it reads as such. Uh, Mr. Fraser, to move that Bill 27, Renewable Ele Electricity Act, be amendment in section 13.1 by adding the following after clause C. And ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's just two sentences. Uh, D, the estimated number of jobs created under renewable electricity programs during the fiscal year. And C, uh, sorry, and E, the total dollar amount of investments other than funds provided pursuant to section 10 made under renewable electricity programs for the fiscal year. So in the spirit of uh, all, port all party cooperation, if that indeed would be possible tonight, and just for the sake of efficiency, uh, Mr. Chair, I'll, I'll just briefly point out the relevant points that are leading us uh, to you know, the, the rationale for this amendment. The first and most important point to make here is that uh, only, uh, it's only right and only fair that we ensure that Alberta taxpayers are receiving uh, value for their tax dollars because we recognize the opportunities and the benefits uh, that we can receive from greater renewable electricity generation in this province and also because we recognize that our first responsibility, of course, is always to the citizens of this fine province. So inherent to that uh, responsibility is the, I, I would say, the duty, honour and obligation to be sober guardians of the public purse. So we're able to face all of our constituents, as all 87 of us in this House need to be able to do, and say to them, we did the best job that we could to ensure that their hard-earned money was spent in a responsible way. And I don't believe that if we voted for the bill before us today in its present form, uh, that we could honestly say that we were certain that the money was being uh, treated in a responsible way. Now, part of the problem is that we in this House uh, do not uh, have enough tools to effectively measure whether or not that money is being invested under, under these renewable uh, programs. In an act, it's actually benefiting Albertans in the way that the government is, is hoping for. And we are all hoping it would be a wise in, uh, investment. So additionally, Mr. Chair, there's a section of this bill that deals with annual reporting. And that's what everyone's looking for these days, is annual reporting. Mm -hmm. The reporting that's included does deal with some important issues, and I'm happy to acknowledge that that is happening with this government on this bill in this case. But we would like to see that reporting expanded just a little bit. So our amendment, uh, the amendment that you see before you, Mr. Chair, adds two additional categories to that reporting section. We'd like to see that report include statistics. I mean, people are always looking for performance measures uh, regarding, in this case, how many jobs are actually being created uh, by these renewable energy programs. And, you know, I got to say, that would actually be a very good thing for this government uh, to share. I, I would think they'd be very proud to share the number of jobs that are created as a result of this. That's a good news story. I, I would really want to know why the government would not want to include this. Perhaps it was just an oversight, but perhaps it can be fixed right here and right now with this simple sentence asking for exactly that. Mr. Chair, since this government uh, expects that these investments are, are going to kick off what might be called a green energy gold rush, uh, I expect that they'd be very happy to include these numbers in, in the reporting. And Albertans would also like to see additional details on the dollars. How many dollars are being invested into these programs? It's their money and they deserve to know. That's what we're asking for here. This way the government can make a reasoned, a reasoned evaluation of whether or not there's value provided in these investments. And that's only fair. Mr. Chair, that's all we're asking in these simple, short amendments, that the government commit to providing reasonable additional information and simply reaffirm their commitment to transparency, which is something that they've said is a hallmark 
of theirs and, and good for them if that indeed is the case. So in advance, I, I will say thank you on behalf of Albertans if you simply make those numbers available to all of us so we can better evaluate the success of the program and the effect that it's having. I hope the government will see it the same way and I thank you for your time, Mr. Chair. Onward and upward. Thank you, Honourable Member.